As humans, we love to have one group we can hate. We love it. We thrive on it. And I hope the book enters into that feeling that people have of, are we repeating history all over again? And the answer is yes. It's not even ambiguous. The answer is yes. In the first century, Jews and Samaritans hated each other. And they had four or five hundred years worth of violence between them that had built up towards the time of Jesus. So I argue in the book that the first century equivalent of Jews and Samaritans killing each other, that comparison can only be found in the 21st experience of Christians and Muslims in the U.S. For instance, in Luke 10, the parable of the Good Samaritan, are you able to see that a Samaritan is capable of fulfilling the Torah, the kingdom of God? And until you can actually see that that's possible, you can't see a Samaritan for the human created in the image of God that he or she is. It isn't watering down Jesus's message, it's taking Jesus as seriously as the early church took Jesus. But it's the same principle, it's the basic principle of loving God, loving others, and doing unto others as you would want done unto you. So I think there's a societal conversation and as a U.S. citizen, but I also think there's a just practical Christian uh, spirit of reciprocity. How do I want my brothers and sisters in Christianity to be treated in Egypt? And am I consistent with that? If Christianity is going to have any power the next 80 years, it has to be good news for people who don't believe in Jesus. That's the real test. You see that in early Christianity. They were doing good for people who were Jew, Gentile, broken, rich. Like it, did, it didn't matter. It wasn't something to gain for themselves. It was something that they thought would help the flourishing of Jerusalem, the flourishing of the Roman Empire. What I try and do is to set the stage, to prepare the table to say, here are the issues at stake. We are the stories we tell ourselves. We have crazy stereotypes happening about Muslims who live in our country right now. The New Testament gives us rich material to understand how to engage Muslim neighbors. They may not be brother and sister in the faith, but they are neighbors. So I think churches are poised to reach out to synagogues and to mosques and to other places of faith, centers of faith, to say, how can we exist and how can our religion help the city in which we exist to flourish, even if we never come to agreement theologically on where the world's going or what's the purpose of life exactly? I wrote this book because I believe that there's something mysterious but also incredible about Jesus' intuitive understanding of rivalry, tension, and violence. And I think he absolutely unlocks the key issues that exist today between Muslims. Thank you.